Hey guys, Bradham73 here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 as I continue on in my series. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and most importantly, subscribe for this and many more videos. All right, um, looking around here. What am I doing? I think I want to actually purchase this field. And But first, we need to, we need to do a couple things here. Got to do a couple things. Um, no, no, not wind rowers, weeders. And oh man, I, I almost want to just take a big loan out to buy this bad boy. Um, and then part of me also wants to buy this one. Let's see, this is nine. I love how there's a nine meter here and a nine meter here, but this one actually has, this one does fertilizing and can also, I think, plant grass. Um, is this oilseed radish and canola maybe? Okay, that's, it's freaking me out, whatever it is. Um, we're not gonna buy this actually, we're just gonna lease it because we only need to lease it for like a single day And yeah, there it is right there. Yeah, let's go ahead and fire this guy up. And then we're gonna head down to the farm and I guess I will start the process of weeding which brings up the, uh, the quality of your, you know, your um, your crop when you go to har harvest. So it's pretty important, very important that we uh, we do this. The other thing that's going to be really important as we move forward is um, liming our crop. Very important. All right, let's go ahead and start unfolding this. Whoa, look at, look at this dude. He's like walking in slow motion. He's like, I'm walking in slow motion. Giants, I love you guys, but come on, man. I'm sure there's like a closet somewhere in your headquarters where you can set up a motion capture studio. All right, so I'm gonna hire a worker to continue this on. Um, Let's see, the other thing I needed to do, yeah, we've got this guy who I know that I need to buy some fertilizer for. So I think I'm gonna buy three pallets. Okay. And there are indeed some fertilization missions that we can take, or contracts, I'm sorry. I keep saying missions. It's, it's not like we're special forces here. <laughs> the special forces of farming. And last but not least, Field 47, I, do, I definitely do want to purchase. So to purchase that, actually 47 and 48. <clears throat> and if I buy those two, we still have time to plant and join those fields. So let's see, we're, I wonder how much of a loan I can take out. OK, 
Okay, so there's a hundred thousand dollar loan. Um, okay, this field needs limed. So next what we're going to need to do is I'm going to have to find my header. Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. Now I'm sure I'm going to have a bunch of people that are going to be like, Brad, didn't you say never to buy or never to get a loan? Yeah, I'd say generally, but... As long as you manage your loans and you know so that they don't get too crazy, then you should be all right. Can I get it through here? Yeah. So we're also going to need to rent one of those larger machines that can spread the lime out. I just love the the new look of the crops is awesome. Uh -oh. Okay, so we got an AI worker that completed their task. That's that's going to be our um, our weeder guy. All right, let's hire the worker here. Okay, that field's looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and hire the worker over here. And then let's see. Okay, so field 47 is going to require lime. So um, we're gonna need to kind of do a couple things here. One of them is going to require purchasing a plow I need to see if that field needs to be plowed too. Um, where am I missing the plows? Are they staring? Oh, here they are. I'm like, they're probably staring me right in the face. All right. I'm going to lease this guy. Ah. There we go. <laughs> I know we're all backwards now, but hey. It's 
if we can um let's see i'm gonna set his destination like right here and then let's jump into the combine i don't really want him going left or right but that might be the best course of action right now And unfortunately, gone are the old days when uh, you could actually start off a field. Like, like when you would start the game off, you could actually take a, a fertilizer. Yeah, like the fertilizer out and fertilize a field that was completely grown and immediately get, um, you know, some crop benefit. Or, yeah, yeah. You would get the immediate benefit of that, but. Yeah, those days are long gone. I think that I think the last time you could really do that was FS17. All right, so here we go. Let's. Um, where's our? Okay, so he's here. Let's. AI worker D has stopped working. Was that, is this my guy? Okay. You need to unfold the tool. Really, I need to unfold the tool to drop it? I guess so, all right. Alright, so we're going to go over and we're going to start creating the fields over here. Now this is a pretty big area and we do have this strange angle right here. So I'm going to actually cut this angle first. And what I'm going to do, first of all, is we need to figure out do I need to plow these fields anyway? So 47 and 48 do not require plowing. So otherwise they would be filled in with red. Meanwhile, the entire rest of the map needs to be plowed. <laughs> um, and then they will both need lime. So, so let's go ahead. We're gonna look, we're gonna, I'm gonna hit F1 first of all and take a drink of coffee. And we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna lower the plow and I'm going to hit Y. Why? Because it's going to allow me to create fields. Otherwise, it'll actually stop plowing right at the field border. And I want to make sure... I'm going to, just going, to, going to do one run down through here. I think we got the angle off a little bit. Not that big of a deal. So we're going to lift up. And then we're going to kind of look back to see... And we just have to move over to the right ever so slightly. So let's back up. And I'm just going to have my tire right on that, you know, the border where the, you know, dirt turns into grass. And we're going to try to cut this again. That's looking better. We go full throttle here and we should be good. Almost, yeah, pretty much. Yep, good, good. I'm happy with that. And I'm also going to just kind of pull this right there. All right.
All right, let's zoom out just a bit. And now we're gonna cut all the way down. And I'm just gonna allow for a little bit of overlap here. And how much is how much is field number 50? Maybe maybe this would be a good time to buy that field as well. I don't know. It's going to be you guys are really going to love me when I seed all this with that little dinky seeder. <laughs> I can hear the people unsubscribing right now. No, just kidding. Don't do that, please. Okay, we need to go a little bit further right. So I just want to make sure we get that straight across there. I really like my fields looking good. Like, I like my fields to look neat and orderly. So that's kind of why I'm doing this. Plowing just seems to work a lot better in this version too. I mean, it's it's still very similar to past farming sims, but it seems to be a lot, lot nicer. And I do believe that this is all we need to to join right now. I kind of feel bad that I didn't join the other fields, uh, but it is what it is. We'll we'll definitely join those and widen them in the next uh, season. I just kind of want to get in here and look at the dirt effects. Okay, now there's like hardly any dirt effects. No, I guess there is right there. All right. Okay, so he's got a nearly full grain tank. Do we have the, okay. Offload the combine. Hopefully we can get up to him in time. <clears throat> Before he decides to turn around. Yay, all right. So we're gonna have to... We gotta come back down to fertilizers. Now, now, not off. I wish this one did lime, but it does not. So we have to look for this little kind of white symbol. In a way, it look kind of looks like a sheep or something, but it's a, it's lime. And I think only the Breedals do it. So we're gonna we need to rent this one or lease it. So we're gonna lease it. Twenty two hundred ninety five dollars. I really hope we get our money back on that. Wow, this one's almost full. Hmm. I 
I want this guy to head up here. Okay. Target is unreachable. What are you talking about? I think if you're going through fields that you don't own, I think that kind of contributes to targets being unreachable. Maybe. Uh, tip side back. Yep. <clears throat> so we'll have this guy go and pick up the... Uh, the lime, I guess. Ah! Phew. One thing I haven't had to do in FS22 yet is to reset a vehicle, and I don't want to start now. <laughs> Okay, Helper E has completed their tasks. I believe that's the Combine. Got some either liquid fertilizer or herbicide out there, one of the two. All right, so let's see, wait. Come over here. Um, okay, we're going to return the plow, and then, now fertilizer spreaders are kind of a pain, and I'm going to tell you why, and it's because there's one place to go for fertilizer, only one. And whoops. And sometimes it's unreachable. It's right down here. And so let's set the destination as like right in here. We'll see if our Okay, so he's moving, so that's a good thing. Yeah, because I don't think there's any other why they only made one line point, I have no idea. Like I kind of feel that like they should have made another one down here, but it is what it is. Let's look at this map. Oddly, there's a little bit of fertilization down here. Uh, no weeds. Neither needs plowing. Basically, we just have to go over this area with lime. So not, not really that big of a deal. Okay, while he's heading down, let's take the combine back. Come on. I really like this map. Have I told you guys I really like this map? Because I really like it. <laughs> um, thinking kind of like right in here might be a good place to drop this off. Okay, blah, 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 blah. All right, so here we are. We've got $13,000. 
And I don't know how much this is going to cost to fill. I feel like just... Eh, it's not actually terribly expensive. Okay. So that's full. Can we put a top on it? No, I don't think we can. I'm gonna go this way <clears throat> all the way down there okay and I'm just gonna have him um, yeah him and we're going to set his destination as, like, maybe right here. He should have no problems driving there whatsoever. All right, let's go back over to the Combine. We still have some work to do with the... Uh, gosh, i got to cultivate and seed, don't I? <gasps> How much do we have in storage, by the way? 12,800 and, yeah. See, even if we do, even if we sell this at the grain mill, we're only gonna get 12 grand out of it. Um, so not much. Now, if we go, oh, whoops. If we go to sorghum, we're gonna wanna sell in January or February. So I'm going to say probably January the price is going to be going up or right at the beginning of February because that's when the price drops, starts to drop. So... Okay, shut that off. And... Okay, this guy needs to move forward. I'm just going to do this manually. And I still don't see my other tracker down there on field 47. Oh, there he's coming up now. I'm going to hire him for right now. And then again, I'm going to go down. A lot of people were asking if I have basically slurry and manure are the only two things that I have the workers buying, but we're not even working with either one of those right now. So I don't think that's going to be a major issue. Um, <clears throat> One thing that's somewhat of an issue is I don't know exactly how wide this needs to be, so. All right. So right about there, and I'm gonna just hire the worker for right now.
just so I can make a nice straight line here. Okay. So now it's just going to be a little bit of an overlap here. I hope. There we go. You really have to be zoomed out quite a bit when you do this. So now that I have a better feel for how wide that is, um, I'm gonna just come back up here. Now, there is kind of a slightly cheaty way to do this if you, you know, are really, really super tight on cash, and that is um, basically pull up a little bit, hit your hit the lime and then just turn it back off again. Um, but it does kind of leave this little pattern, so you just have to be kind of careful how you do it. Um, since we're not like dying for cash, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna go for it. And um, the hired worker should, uh, should be fine. So next up is we're gonna need to get our plow out here or I'm sorry, the cultivator. AI worker F, so that should be the other. Yeah, that should be the weeder there. And now we'll just be able to cultivate this. I don't think that we can put fertilizer on it yet. I think we have to do that after we plant. Okay. So right now we can, um, we can actually, whoops. We can actually return the weeder Because it's not needed anymore and we can come over here and we can get our seeder and start seeding uh, wheat I'm gonna do wheat because why not Cedar, soybeans, oilseed, radish, grass, sorghum, wheat. Now, when can we plant soybeans? I think that's kind of in the spring, isn't it? Yeah, like April or April and May. <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure which direction. Oh, well, that answers that question. All right. Um, let's 
fire him really quick. And I guess I can do the rest of this manually, or... I mean, I can hire a worker. Cultivating. So while I'm doing this, I can just, okay, he's on wheat. Uh, do I have to, there we go. I'm like, do I have to, wait, AI worker C. I love how the deer's not even moving. Look at that down the field. He didn't like he, he didn't even move for the the tractor. Oh, we do have rocks out here, too. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to worry about them too much this first season. <clears throat> so next season, we are going to probably want to de-rock this field. It's just so darn expensive to do it. And I don't know that it affects the quality of the crops we plant or harvest. I just think it reduces the... Um, like it damages the cedar over time. All right, so, so we still have a decent amount. Yeah, we have like almost half of the, um, the stuff, stuff and things here. Uh-oh, maybe not. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh oh, uh -oh. He's going to get really angry with me here soon. Maybe not. All right. <clears throat> so we still have 41% left. And I don't want to lose all of this lime. So I'm going to take this lime back to the farm. Or actually, maybe I should take it back. Well... I feel like taking it to the farm, though. I think I'm going to take it to the vehicle dealer. Let's, let's do that. All right. Set destination. Boom. So now... We're good on lime 
good on plowing, not good on fertilizing. It's not a big deal. We don't have to worry about weeding. What's going on with this dude? Oh. Eh. What I was wanting to do is I was wanting to get him onto this part of the field. And then I think I can just come back over here and offload all of the uh, lime. Is it I? Yeah, there we go. So there's lime. Return that. And next, we want to, I want to take him back home. And then I want to pick up that fertilizer. Because let's see, field 52 and field 57, oh, 76. So where's field 52? 52 is right here. And 76 is down here. And those will both be really quick, easy jobs. Um, oh, and we still need to do field 55. So 52, we'll accept that. And 76. There we go. Man, I should have been I should have been on that way long way a long time ago. A long time ago. This guy's navigating this field perfectly. Okay, I'm gonna unhire the worker. So 52, 55, and 76. So 52 is there. 55? Okay, it's not sh it's not flashing at me like 52 and 56 are. Um, well, let's uh, let's head on over to field 52, I guess. And actually, the fastest way is probably right through here. Yeah, see, here's another one of those. Now, somebody was saying, like, for these things, these are, like, drainage. Like, field drain. Like, a, that's a field drain. And these are actually markers to show, like, where the drain pipe is when... So, so you don't hit it. Um, but it doesn't make any sense to me. 
Number one, this area is never going to get flooded. It's got plenty of drainage over here. And I mean, it would take a Noah's Ark level flood event. Um, I mean, maybe that's what the intent of those things are. I'm, I can't say I'm convinced. On the contrary, I'm probably not convinced. All right, let's, uh, let's go get this done. Top speed here of 11 miles an hour. AI worker E has completed their task. That's probably the cedar. Okay. Just gonna hire the worker for a moment. Yep. Good job. I have. I gotta say, I have been relatively impressed with the with the workers so far. Compared to previous farming sims, they've been much better. All right. So away we go. We're gonna start seeding this. Um, let's get back to the. Um, wait, did he just leave all that? I guess. Let's see. Let's fire him really quick. Okay, contract on field 52 is finished. So let's go grab that. There's 1700 bucks more. So next, field 55, which is right over there. So right here, it's gonna be field 55. And we can hire the worker to finish this off. Cause it's not gonna to take too long, but I'm gonna kind of monitor. Looks like a her. Oh boy, that's definitely not a her. <laughs> Not, not unless she carries a handlebar mustache. Wow. All right, turn it off. There we go. I think that's just going to be the one pass down and back. Not sure where he's going to go. There we go. This is the this is the hired helper doing this. So I'm just kind of again monitoring the situation here. Yeah, I get a lot of, I've been getting a lot of comments on how this basically looks just like Farming Simulator 19, or it looks like a mod for FS19. Um, you know, obviously those, those opinions do kind of frustrate me because number one, when you're watching this video back, you're actually seeing a, a 2560 by 1440p um, quality video cut down to 1080p. Um, all right, so there's, we're finished on that one. So let's go ahead and complete that one. And then last but not least, uh, we're going to have to drive down to field 76, which is way down here. So let's, let's set this destination and, uh, hopefully he'll, he'll take off and head down in that direction. 
But but yeah, you're seeing a, a video that's gone from 1440p down to 10 uh, 1080p. There's actually going to be a quality bump from the from the raw editing size because otherwise a 1080p video wouldn't or, or 10, 1080p gameplay wouldn't actually look that good. Um, but the biggest thing is the YouTube um, compression, which is going to further reduce the quality. And it's even worse during live streaming. Um, so in a way, it's kind of, you know, I won't say misleading, but there's a lot of small things. I mean, just like the trees, like the trees changing colors here. Uh, is definitely something that's brand new in Farming Simulator 9, or 22 that was not in FS19. We've got all the seasons, which is actually different than the old seasons mod. Um, I wish the tractors wouldn't do this. I wish they would actually drive on the roads. But um, So we do have seasons now. I have yet to see snow. I've got snow turned on. Um, on my... Uh, like my... I always say offline game, but it's not really offline. Um, like kind of like it, just in my relaxed, you know, game, I have yet to see snow in the game. And that obviously it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. I just haven't seen it yet. So um, one thing I did want to look at, and I do want to check from time to time and I always forget to, is okay so we've got the the corn header there wow that's a good price on the corn header now if this were my field i would definitely need care wheels all right let's just go and get her done AI worker D has comp okay, so he's finished. And our poor cedar guy, <laughs> he's, uh, He's, he's definitely hurting. He's like, I gotta do this whole thing. With this little cedar. Alright. I'm gonna lower this. Disconnect that. And... Honestly, I don't really foresee needing this for a while. So I'm gonna park him in the barn, right here. Now, another thing I kind of wanted to buy, and people always ask about it because they don't know where it's at, and I always forget too, are the uh, the sprayers to wash off your equipment. So you actually have to go all the way down here, go into construction. No, I don't want to sell the garage. Um, and we go into tools. So right here, and then our Karcher sprayers right there. And I like to put it somewhere that's kind of out of the way. And right there is definitely out of the way. So I'm going to kind of put it right here. The other thing, too, is, let's see here. If we put it, like, kind of right there, I think it's going to be out of the way as well. Whoops. Uh Oh, there we go. And you definitely always want to wash your uh your vehicles inside your shop. No, I'm you definitely don't want to do that. And the front weight still 
take a long time to wash off for some reason. Okay. I don't know if I can... How far away can I go? Let's see. The pressure washer hose restricts you for going... It will de be deactivated in... Okay. That's perfect. Because I can reach it. That's actually pretty cool. I, I appreciate that... That Giants has put this message in. I don't know why, but I really like that they did that. So good on them. And then it deactivates. Okay. So what else do we have to do? So we've got that job finished. Um, do we have any more fertilizing jobs? 26, 21, 26, and field 80. Where's field 80? I think field 80 is down here by us. Yeah, it's right there. Um, so let's go ahead and pick up that job really quick. Wait a second, wait a second. I don't see field 80 flashing. What's going on here? Uh-oh. See, it's one of these disappearing fields or jobs again. So field 20, I'm glad I looked. Field 26 is right there. Ugh. And what was the other one? Field 26 and 21, which is right up there. Eh. I really feel like he needs to go here, if that makes any sense. And we're coming up on the hour here, so, man, I can't believe that hour went that fast. I, I feel like it's maybe like, I, I was thinking it was going to be like 40 minutes in or something when I checked the time, but nope. Wait, okay, he's still driving. So what I'll probably do is I'm I'll, just off camera. I'll let this guy uh, finish out. I'll let him finish out the job, and then we'll come back and do the fertilizing. I think. And then I really got to look into buying a more, a, like a wider cedar. Um, let's see, where's our cedars at? Yeah, here. Um, yeah, like a Pottinger or the Coon. Uh, they're both six meters. Um, so I might, you know, I might spring for a Pottinger uh, next season. It just depends on how much money we make and, you know, how much we can pay back the loan. Okay, we don't have any leased items outstanding, so that's good. So yeah, we'll, we will come back in the next episode and finish up the, the well, the seating will be done, but I just, I'll finish up the, the fertilizing and, and then we'll be kind of ready to go into like January or February to sell that sorghum that we have and then um, kind of fast forward. We'll also kind of look and see what type of jobs we have because I'm definitely, you know, with that, that loan that we have right now, um, how much is it? I mean, it's a $105,000 loan. Matter of fact, let's repay five, you know, the more we can repay, the better. And, um, you know, the, the less... I mean, we're probably talking, you know, tens of dollars or something like that, but uh, every little bit helps, especially early on in the game. And uh, But I think it's going to take a few seasons in before uh, we're really going to start reaping the benefits of, of, you know, all of our crops and everything like that. But I don't know. We'll have to wait and see how that goes. But um, for now, again, don't forget to leave a like. Helps me out tremendously. I say it every time, but do not forget. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know uh, what you're doing differently or what I should do 
Uh, and lastly, if you have not done so yet, please subscribe for this and many more videos. This has been Farming Simulator 22, out now on, well, P this is the PC version, but it's out on like Xbox and PlayStation 5. I don't know about PlayStation 4, but one of the Xboxes, <laughs> check your local, uh, X or check, check your Microsoft store. Um, but yeah, out now, go grab it, all that fun stuff. If you want to support my channel, I do have links down in the video description for my direct buy link where you can buy Farming Simulator directly from Giant Software. So that always helps me out. And um, also, if you want to set up a multiplayer dedicated server, I've got my link down to Nitrado. Uh, also, if you want to support me, please use my link. That helps me out. I actually do get uh, a little bit of a kickback from that. So. Uh, if you want to support the channel, can please consider doing that for your future dedicated server needs. And that Nitrado, um, they do farming simulator, they do Minecraft and Ark and all kinds of stuff. So uh, even if you're not playing farming simulator, you know, there's other games out there as well. And um, I've been using them for years and I, I they've always been really good to me. So uh, give them a, you know, check them out. Give them a try. Well... I will see you very, very soon for another episode of Farming Simulator 22. Thank you so much again for joining me and watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm Bradm73. Bye for now.